Hundreds of seagulls that have become a menace in one community ended up in the crosshairs of a drastic plan to get rid of them today. 7 Action News reporter Tara Edwards tells us the city of Southgate received special permission to shoot to kill. Hundreds and hundreds of seagulls have ruffled a lot of feathers in Southgate. Local businesses have just about had it, saying it's scaring off customers. And many residents are just disgusted. The mayor's office has gotten a lot of phone calls. If you get close enough to it, I mean, uh, the odor that comes from it, very foul. I mean, lots of birds there. Um, there's a lot of uh, uh, seagull droppings, so it's, it's, uh, it's a pretty dirty place. Armed with shotguns, animal control, and police shoot close to 200 of them, trying to control the population. Police say they have already tried so many things to get the birds to go away. The mayor's office has obtained a permit from the Federal Fish and Wildlife Services to get rid of 500 birds. I guess we can argue the, the humane, you know, what's humane, what's not humane, um, and we came up to the conclusion that, that we would use lethal force to shoot them. It may seem to be an odd spot for the Southgate seagulls to have adopted as their home, but police say the poorest ground has made it a hotbed for insects, and they're exploring other ways to shoo the birds away, like bringing in a falcon to scare them off. And the city says that they're not done trying to drive all these seagulls out. They say their permit expires in March of 2013. They've also been approved by the DNR to use chemicals to get them out of here. In Southgate, Tara Edwards, 7 Action News. All certainly generating some controversy, I Indeed. think. Indeed. Yeah. Tara, thank you. The Metro